Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> nice. Yeah. This thirsty is making me bacon. That's literally what the cup says. Okay, boys. How's your good Wendy's? Good Wendy's. The best, dude. Taylor Swift. I think I love you. If I were you, I love you. Hi, welcome to the Bachelor Pad. So excited you're here. Yo, 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 welcome to the Game Pad. In here, we got lots of things that we're gonna be doing this evening. We got some Xbox 360 with some classic, classic games. We got a window with a front view. We got some foosball. You better be ready, because we're gonna destroy this bathroom back here, too. It's gonna be lit. Yeah. Hey. I like to game. Hey, I like to foosball. It's pig time. And we're back to Josh versus Gabe. Gabe is in the lead with four aces and a buggy whip. But look at that follow through. Nice try, Josh. Game set and match.
Hi Mountaineers, I'm Bill Gordon and we're about to go hiking. Hi, I'm Chad Hasley, and we're here in the Porto Coco Mountains. And what I have found today to show you is a native species to this area. This is a goo goo berry. Now, goo goo berries, they are very poisonous if, if you try to eat them raw. Now, what you can do is you can take these boys, you can get them together, you can boil them up into kind of like a paste. And what that does is that burns off the toxins. And you can then use them on toast, uh, bread, anything that you want really. And yeah, it just makes a good, a good preserve. I'm Chad Hadsley, and we're here again in the Puerto Coco Mountains. And what we have today is a real treat. Now this is a tree star from the Land Before Time movies. Now, the dinosaurs really did feast on these, and when they were going away from all the long necks eating them, they had to scrounge far and wide for them. And it took them years and years to find more. Now, these little guys here, this is exactly what they were after, because what these did is these planted more, and if they could find those, they could survive. More tree stalk. Butter lumps. Epiwops. Corbish blavish. Welcome back everybody. I'm Bill Gordon, and today I'm gonna to tell you about a special flower. These little guys are called pop stoppies. Now they're very, very toxic, but if you spit the seed out, you can actually eat them whole. Now whatever you do, don't stop recording. Yeah. See, very good. Hey Bill, you mate, uh, you all right there? Ah shit, do we need to get you to the hospital, mate? All right, all right. We still got about a two-hour uh, uh, climb ahead of us, so see how it goes, I guess. I uh, will uh, report back later. Time to sport. Step one, kids, get a ball. <laughs> Let's play. The hook. The granny. The bull. Off the back. And who can 
forget great classics like under the legs, behind the back, over the basket. Optional step, phone a friend. Ring, ring. Hello. I've made a terrible miscalculation. I forgot to spit out the seeds of Popacus Copacus. I might have less than 12 hours to live. Show me them kids. Or why? Now this is a bonky willy. You could tell it's a bonky willy for all of these little guys coming up here. And what you gotta do is if you break off these little tops, I'm not gonna do it. Just because then it won't be able to, you know, produce a new plant. But if you break these off, you can put them in some butter, some sugar, and some sort of berry. And really good nutrients can help you survive out in the wild for a while. It seems the side effects have already begun. Soon, I'll begin having the worst diarrhea of my life. And then the hallucinations will set in. So David, now that you're at the top, what is your favorite part about the mountain? My favorite part of the mountain is how the trees, they just hug it. Oh. Like, they hug it like yeah. the trees, you know? Because without the trees, it'd just be a naked mountain. No one likes that. But it's got its head up there, so it's like looking out. And it's so And it's beautiful. So now that you're at the top, how do you feel? Not good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. So Josh, now that we can see the mountain, what are you going to yell? Um, I think I'm going to yell, I'm on top of the world. Okay. So Gabe, you truly exhibit mountain power. <laughs> How does that make you feel? It feels pretty good. I've never been told that before. Mountain <laughs> power. Thank you, Lauren. Why did that happen the second I walked away?